No, I can. We can. I can have breakfast. We're already late for church. Yeah, but you can at least have something small. Let, let me get a glass of water. No, babe, come on. What? Are you not going to church with me? You're not dressed up. <sighs> babe. Babe, I am not going to church with you. When you get to church, just tell them something. Tell them I'm a little under the weather. You want me to lie? Again? Come on, baby. Huh? This is not the aunt that I married to. You have changed. What happened? You used to love the things of God. What has changed? Baby, why not have a night, you know? Because I am very sure you'll be hungry when you get to church. Just you are changing the topic again. You always do that. Babe, come. Come first. Baby, why not take a bite? Because I am very sure that you'll be hungry when you get to you are changing the topic again. Babe, come. I know how you feel. I feel the same way. And I promise you. Look, I want to assure you. I, I will never leave your side. But this is not the time for us to distance ourselves from God. <laughs> We need God more than ever. God. 
Apparently, the big man up there doesn't even know that we exist. He doesn't. What did you just say? Bernard, I am not having this conversation with you. I am not. I'll just see you off to the car. Yes. You... Wait, we're not talking about anything now. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I'm not talking about anything. Let's just let it go. This time is a level. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and happy Sunday. Yeah, from the twin. How are you? I'm fine. How about the twin? They've gone to church with their father. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, madam is not going to church. I hope all is well. All is well. She's just under the weather, that's why. Oh, glory be to God! I knew it! I've been suspecting, you know. <laughs> you don't have to hide it. You don't have to, my dear sister. Very soon, just go to the book to get her something free like this. And, you know, and then take a little rest. Don't stress yourself. Don't. Don't stress yourself at all. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? You don't have to pretend with me. I'm a woman. <laughs> I've been there, you know. <laughs> babe, babe, babe. It's okay. It's okay. Stop. Stop. Oh, babe. such a good man. Don't worry. It's the hormones. It happened to me. During my own time, I cried like a river. <laughs> Daddy twins almost ran mad. Can you just stop? <laughs> babe. Babe. What did I do now? Babe. 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 Ha! Someone cannot even say anything again to their neighbors. Babe, please open the door for me, okay? Just go! Just go now! Anne. <laughs> Anne, please open the door for me. So, Brabena, do you mean your wife has uh, intention of coming to church with this wife? Yes, Pastor. I have tried everything within my powers to make her see reasons, but she doesn't even believe in God anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pastor, I am afraid that my wife is becoming a shadow of herself. No, 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 no. Um, it's okay. It is well. It is well with you. I can understand that um, the several miscarriages that she has had uh, can be very, very heartbreaking, you know, in, in a marriage, in a home, especially on the woman. And this is why we have to be patient with her. You have to be patient with her and pray with her, okay? Um, you have to encourage her with um, the word of God. Uh, and you also need to let her know that, I mean, 
she doesn't need to stay away from church because no sick person stays away from the doctor. Okay, and um, the doctor here in this case, if you agree with me, is God. So she needs to stay close to God. Yes, Pastor. Pastor, please. I, I've done everything I can. And I am pleading with you. I want you to please come and see her and talk to her. I believe she will listen to you. Please. Lord, I thank you for this family. Thank you for your grace and your love. Thank you for the perfection that is on their life. We are grateful. Then, we are grateful for their lives. Oh, Sister Anne, Good you're welcome. Good Please why would you join us in prayers? Thank you, Pastor, but I am not interested, so I'll pass. Babe, please join us in prayers, okay? Okay, let's even say that I want to join you two in prayers. You know, I'm very sure that your God is too busy answering other people's prayers. And I, you know, as a diligent and a faithful woman, I do not want to bother him with mine. Sister Anne, why do you talk like this? I mean, where's your faith? I know you to be a woman of faith. Where is your faith? <laughs> Sister Anne, where is your faith? Lost. Gone. Buried or even dead. Tell me, Pastor. What is the use of trusting in someone who doesn't show up when we need him the most? Tell me. I started leading the choir when I was eight. For the most of my life, I have been serving your God. I started leading the choir when I was just eight years old, Pastor. It didn't stop there. As a teenager, you know, I served your God in several departments. Faithfully, diligently, winning souls with money, time, energy, resources. Pastor, I even won many awards of excellence to prove. Even when I got married, I did not stop serving your God. You know, I still think that they said that your God is a just and faithful God. They said that there's nothing difficult for your God to do. I have done literally everything a Christian should do. What does your God want from me, Pastor? What does your God want from me, my soul? My body? My money? What does your God want from me? Do I want to remind you that I have had eight miscarriages in the last five years of my marriage? Do not stop me. Eight miscarriages in the last five years of my marriage. Pastor, tell me what your God wants me to do. Every single day. In the last five years of my marriage, all I have asked your God is to give me one child. One child! He said in his word that with men it is impossible, but with him all things are possible. I want him to give me one child. Whether the child is crippled, whether the child is blind, whether the child is deaf or dumb, 
It's okay, Brother Bernard. I understand her perfectly. Everything she has said and all she's going through. But I want you to understand that uh, the Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but that the Lord delivers him from them all. And in this case, it's not different. My prayer is that the Lord is going to intervene and deliver you and your family from this affliction. You have a role to play. I encourage you to constantly be with her. Don't leave her alone in this. Pray with her. Encourage her. Like I said to you the other day, no sick person avoids the doctor. You have to constantly point out to God and to His Word. The Bible says that I commend you to God and to the Word of His grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. This should be your anchor at all the time. On my own, continue to pray for you and everything will become beautiful at the time that God has set. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, flashes of the current life we are living in. The modern world we're building. But it's so hard to fit in. Yeah. Keep it in the dark, already matters. Only to cry after. If I had known. Yeah. Hey, what was the meaning of what you just did? Huh? Why do you speak to the pastor like that? Why shouldn't I? No, tell me why I wouldn't have spoken to him in that manner. I have asked that man to stay off my business safely. But he wouldn't listen because he wants to preach the gospel for his God. See, I have had enough. I've had enough of this God, 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 yadi yadi. I've had enough. Babe, sick people don't run away from their doctors. And like the pastor said, God is the doctor that we need right now. Remember Hebrew 4 verse 16. Let us draw closer to the throne of grace to seek help in times of need. And your favorite verse. Uh, God is our refuge and our strength. Our very present help in time of trouble. Blah, blah, blah. I know. I know everything the word of God says. 
we have had our own fair share of trouble. It miscarriages. What has God done? What has he done? So you want to give up on God now? Apparently he gave up on me first. Which can't seem be this. This was happening. <laughs> you expect yourself sometimes. You are a human being, at least you have brain, you can think. Let's make it a call. NK, NK. <laughs> NK, the bed, you let that NK. Ah! Oh. <laughs> See. <laughs> um, um, okay. Let your blood not be hot. You understand? You know the situation of baby looking for situation that we are in this very house. Madam is looking for a child. Mm. Believe in me. Because I have come up with a solution. Yeah. So we need they need they need children. So now I want us to help them to get as many children as they want. You understand? See, the other day, I went to the hospital. And the doctor now brought stethoscope. He placed it on my libido. Mm, the doctor brought what? Stethoscope. And placed it on my libido. And it was, he says he was hearing the cry of babies. Shouting. Nya, nya. Daddy, when are we coming out? Nya. <laughs> Meaning that my waist is fruitful. Mm. I have lots of babies packed inside my waist. Mm. Let us just, you know, utilize our waist. You understand? Let us combine it together. You know, let's nuke our ways together and burn as many as possible. Yeah. Me, I, not me and you. Let our waist do the job. Let's bring out all the children in your in your waist. I bring out the ones in my waist. We bring all of them together to the world. <laughs> Everywhere we'll be children, children. Yes, now we'll give, call me, come the crew. yes, now so that we'll give some children to Madame. You know, nobody can tell. Madame will take the children abroad. And leave this place for us. Inheritance. Inheritance. <laughs> yeah. I know you are very yeah. stupid. Yeah. Is she like you are very, very stupid. That you called me out for this rubbish. Eh? Are you mad? Wait, wait. The other day I was sleeping. I was hearing crocro. Somebody's trying to open the door. So it was you. You were hearing crocro. That is crocro. It's not me. Shut it's up. It's it's shut, shut, shut up. That is right. Oh. Keeps, I cannot do crocro. The next time yeah. you will try that rubbish with me. Eh? Nge jaka wupo ganya. Nguyangwagi. Try and next time with me, you see what I will do to you. Listen to all these things you are doing. Shut if I handle you, yeah. if I handle you. Ah! Ah! Twins! Twins will be just flowing. I will be distributing them. Fiam, fiam, fiam. They will be coming out anyhow. I'm telling you, I am warning you, respect yourself and let us do this thing for my mother. If you try this rubbish with me again, eh, God will punish you. It's your rubbish. See, not that you are that kind of responsible. Hey, hey. Now this waist line they confuse me. Eh? If not for your waist, what will I be looking for where you are? Waste of confusion. Father, help me. Lord, help me. The children in my waist are too much. Eh? They want to come out. Help me utilize her waist. Let us make all these things come to pass. Help! <laughs> help! <laughs> My major problem is you, libido, libido. <laughs> I cannot help this. I cannot help this. I'm having waist problem. I cannot help it. Hello, Pastor. I'm fine, sir. How are you? Yes, I, um, you know, today is the last day, so I'm about to break my fast.
this. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. What your word says in Psalm 46, verse 1, that God is my strength, that God will always help me in times of distress. I cover my family, God. I pray that you guide me. You strengthen me, O oh Lord. You strengthen my wife, O oh Lord. God, I pray. Father, at this moment, I uproot every tree, every root that has not been planted by God. Every tree of miscarriages, every root of miscarriages in my family. Every pain, every tree of pain, every tree of anguish. I uproot those roots. I uproot those three. I call them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, please, I beg of you. I trust in you. I hope in you, O oh Lord. I will never, ever stop having my faith in you, O oh Lord. Please, God, guide me. Protect me, O oh Lord. Protect my family. Guide my wife. Strengthen her, O oh Lord. Please, God, please, may your love never depart from my family. May your love never depart from my household. May your grace never depart from my household, O oh Lord God. I pray, God, I know I've come short of your glories, O oh Lord. I know I am not perfect, but, O oh Lord, I am your child. And I pray that you bless me. You guide me, O oh Lord. You bless me with all our heart desire, O oh Lord. I'll wait for your time, O oh Lord. Your time is always the best. But I pray that you give us the strength, the strength to wait. The strength to be patient for you. The strength to continue to love you. Even in the worst situations, oh Lord. God, please, I thank you. I thank you for everything you have done for me. I thank you for blessing me. Flashes of the current life we are living in. More than worth the building, for it's so hard to fit in. Yeah, keep it in the dark, where it matters, only to cry after. If I had known, yeah, build your home with love and attention. Ring finger was fractured, and the doctor asked me to stop wearing it. Is that now the issue now? 
Is this the issue? Everything is the issue. Everything. Your mother, your sister, everybody is driving me nuts. Am I the only woman who does not have children? Stop. Stop. You are really hurting me. Everybody, I don't have a child. I don't have a child. If you do your job properly, the children will stay in my womb. That's good, wash it. You know, yeah, thank you. You know, this relationship we are about to build. Mm -mm. This relationship we are building. It's not easy. Oh. Yeah. I have bought sand, I have bought blocks, and I'm building it gradually. You know, yeah, thank you. Seriously, yeah. I love you. I love you outside with love. I love the hell out of you. Yeah, the magnitude of love I have for you is beyond limitation. You understand? So I want you to use your own brick layer. Let's build this thing together. Yeah, this relationship to build a family is here. It's not here. Yeah, look at you now, you are washing place. And I am a responsible man. I cannot come and be seeing you washing place and I will not help you. It's not possible. I will not allow you to wash place because a responsible man cannot see his woman washing place. And just be looking at her. No, I will help. Now, I can help you in washing place. I can even help you to cook and help you to kneel down. I say, darling, food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that is power of love. Me, I will be your restaurant. So you're a responsible man. Ah, responsibility is my second name. <laughs> so let's yeah. pass with the plate first. To wash plate? Yes, to wash plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Go away, go away, go away. How did you know that washing plate used to turn me on? Mm. Yeah, it turns me on. I'm telling you. Mm. Washing of plates? <laughs> see, oh, yeah, see, it see. It's gradually rising. Mm. Rise, oh, come by rise. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Ew. 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 <laughs> Do you know what killed my grandfather? Mm -mm. Washing of plates. Okay. He, he has washed plates, washed plates, so dead. Plates say, ah! Ancestral people now called him and say, come to the land of the dead and help us out. We don't have anybody that is going to be washing our plates for us. <laughs> <laughs> he died young. They won him a award of plate washing in mortuary attending genealogy. So when you are not washing the plates, yeah. arrange the plates here. Then boy hot water make it back for Madame Anoga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, this girl is gradually turning me to kitchen utensil. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this sounding as if I am stupid? Yeah. This girl is. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Enke, by the time I'm done with this plate, I'm coming to come and wash your own plate. <laughs> I will come there and I will grab you into my arms. I will grab you and I'll lick the hell out of you. Then hold you. Hold you down below. I will not care. I will never care if Madame and Oga in this house. You will be shouting, Okoro! Oh, oh, Okoro! Okoro, destroy me! Okoro, kill me! Okoro! Babe, don't pray to get a person. I am not interested. Babe, see. You know, you know, before now, you used to lead the prayers. Okay, even if you don't want to pray, just kneel down with me. Don't say anything. 
let me just pray okay Bernard, I just said that I am not interested in praying to your God. What don't you understand? Okay, fine. You are the man of this family, the head. Why don't you pray for your family? Pray for you and I. I'm very sure that your God will hear you. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my business. Thank you for my father. Thank you, Lord. I pray that, oh Lord, that you can guide us throughout this night. Protect my wife. Protect my family. My house. Hello? Mom. Mom, please don't start with this again. Huh? We've talked about this. Mom, you know I can't take a second wife. Mom, I love my wife. And I'm going to stand by her until God blesses us with a child. Mom, you sound as if you're not a Christian. You know I'm not allowed to have a second wife. I'm meant to be with one woman. Yes, we've done all the necessary tests. And both of us are good. We're fine. Mom, just pray for us. That is all, okay? See, I understand that you need your grandchild. I understand. Me too, I want a child. But you need to put yourself in my wife's shoes. She's fine. And there's nothing wrong with her. Mom, you know what? Let me call you back. I have something to attend, okay? Let me talk to you later. Your mom called. Oh, babe, see, don't listen to whatever she has to say. I have told her that I'm not taking a second wife, and that is it, okay? Second wife? Your mom wants you to take a second wife? Oh, I, I don't understand. What did she say when she called you? Wait. You, you know, you actually don't have to pretend to want to stay, right? Just let me know when you're ready for the divorce. Because I cannot imagine how worse this thing wants to get. Just let me know when you're ready for the divorce. Oh, who's talking about divorce here? Babe, come on. What are you saying? Look, babe, I can never leave you. I am not going for a divorce. It's never going to happen. And I'm not taking a second wife, okay? Bernard, you do not have to pretend to want to stay. Okay? You can leave if you want. But don't worry, I'll make it easier for you. I'll just leave instead. Babe, 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 please stop. Stop. Please stop, babe. Come on. Stay with me. Babe, please stop saying this. Okay? I love you so much. I can never imagine a life without you in it. I've taken a vow in front of God and this congregation to be with you through the bad and the good. And I will never ever break that vow. If I can never imagine spending my life with any other person other than you. See, babe, I love you so much and God has joined us together. No man can put us under, not even these miscarriages. Nothing can put us under, okay? Please, I want you to have faith in us. Please. Babe, babe, no, 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 babe, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come. Come, come, come. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please. Oh, the dance. 
dazzling gaze oh no. Yet behind a screen A lonely plight of a mother and a daughter And a silent fight oh. Cherry loves the stars so bright In the lamplight of words and light But beyond the They are coming. Oh, we have been out, Sister Anne. Good. So good to see you. Good day, good day Pastor. How are you? Uh, we're fine. Please sit. Wow. <laughs> Sister Anne, Sister Anne. Welcome back to church. Wow. We miss you so much, especially the children. The children miss you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your prayers. I really appreciate it. Pastor, I am truly, sincerely sorry about my outburst the other day. I apologize. Honestly, I... I don't know what came over. You know, it's okay. It's okay, sister. It's okay. I understand perfectly um, that your actions were from the point of pain. I understand that. And anybody could uh, be in that position. Anybody could. Or anybody in that position would have probably reacted the same way you have reacted. I understand. But I see, I want you to understand that God, our God that we serve, is a perfect God. He makes everything beautiful at his own time. That's what the scripture says. You see, the Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from, from I mean, deliver him from them all. So it doesn't matter what you have gone through. I just want to encourage you. Keep your feet. Keep it strong. I know you to be a woman of faith, but don't throw it away. You know, keep your faith strong. Keep it perfect. The Bible tells us to look unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. When you look up to him, God knows the time that is right for you. You see, his timing is not our own timing. At the time that is right, at the time that is right, he will make everything beautiful. He will restore your joy, he will restore your peace, and he will cause your marriage to be an example of his glory to the world. Let me pray with you. <laughs> Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I thank you for the life of this. Thank you for what you are doing in them and with them. Thank you for your grace that is available even now. And Lord, we pray that henceforth the smile that you are putting them continue. <laughs> Babe, what is it? Why are you staring at me like that? What you said you wanted to tell me something. What do you want to tell me? <laughs> You're pregnant. Come on, give me a hug. Come here. Finally. Yeah. Mm. Look, babe. I pray that this pregnancy will stay. Amen. But I want you to know one thing. No matter what happens, I'll still stand by you, okay? Well, I am convinced that nothing is going to happen. It's okay. I believe you. I love you. Yeah. This is going to stay for us. Yeah, it will. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, Joe. I'm very happy. <sighs> it's okay. Thank 
Madam Fent, oh, she not die. I bet she die. Did she die? But I put it to you. I put it to you. You were wrong. Why did you allow her to wash plates? Why did you allow her? Eh? Of all things you should allow her to do in this house is to wash plates. Why? They allow Madam to wash plates. She sent me to go and buy something for her. Before I don't come back, she don't enter kitchen. Go to wash plates. You go allow her to wash plates. Yeah, it is your fault. I still put it to you. Do you think it's everybody that have the muzzle of washing plates? Some people have weak look in their left palm. Or put their wash plate like this, now painting comes. Madame is one of the people that inherited that painting style. Plate paints them. Why did you allow her? Why? Why? Okay, why? Madame is not a washing plate person. Anytime she wash plates, she fence. Wash plate, she fails. She disappears. Some people wash plate, they disappear. Which kind of thing be this? Mm. Me, I don't believe saying a washing plate go me with Madame. They believe that kind of blood work clean. If you see the kind of blood work clean, ordinary washing plates no go do that one. Eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, ordinary washing plate cannot do Madame that kind of thing. You don't know me. If I wash plate, I used to have miscarriage. I'm telling you, I used to have nine months flow. Blood flow, menses. I used to have all those things just for ordinary washing place. Which can't kind of be this, but it did not do well. I still put it to you. I put it to you. You were wrong. Eh? Now, madam has ended up in the hospital, all in the name of plate washing. Who knows? Tomorrow now, Oga might go and wash plate. He will not be having blood flow. Miscarriage. This is wrong. 
You should have allowed Madame to come and respect herself and stay alone. If she wanted to wash plate, you should have perceived this. You should have smelled the plate and know that, yes, something is wrong somewhere. In that kitchen, I think there is something wrong with that kitchen. Blood gushing diffusion. It is happening in that kitchen. Help your life. Okay. You shouldn't have. Eh? Okay. If Madame died, you killed her with washing plates, oh, blood gosh. effect. Mm. I know you are in that picture. Mm -hmm. Break it. Even your salary, the next thing is no, no buy that uh, picture. Do I really have salary anymore? <laughs> the one that blood has washed away. Blood of Madame. The blood of Madame. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Come on for a year. I was going to check if the men's come up for a year. The miscarriage, which can't seem to be this problem. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, I'm sorry. God, I beg you. You know what happened to Madame? Ah, is there no food in this house? Now go go punish you that place. Yes, I found her bleeding and unconscious. We are at the hospital right now. Please, you guys should just pray for us, okay? Please. Okay. I've heard you. I'm trying. Oh, okay. Just hold on one minute. Uh, the doctor is saying. Mr. Bernard. Yeah, doctor. Please, can I see my doctor? Doctor, please, whatever it is, we can discuss it here, okay? Tell me, what is it? What's the problem? I think we should discuss this problem. Doctor. Please, whatever it is, I can handle it. I've had the worst in years, okay? So tell me, I mean, she lost the baby. That's the it. worst? But there's nothing wrong with your wife. She's fine. She's fine. I, I don't understand you. I brought in my pregnant wife, bleeding and unconscious, and you're telling me there's nothing wrong with her? How is that even possible? Listen, Mr. Bernard, what your wife had is vagina bleeding. Which is a common thing with uh, multiple implantation in the trimester of uh, gestation. Doctor, please, can you can you speak in a layman's term? Because I'm not getting, I'm not understanding what you what you just said. Uh, what I am saying is your wife is pregnant with twins. That's why she had the bleeding. I don't I don't understand. Doctor, wait. Are you trying to tell me that there is nothing wrong with my wife? Your wife is fine. And the baby, they are all fine. Wait, doctor, are you trying to tell me that my wife is pregnant with twins? Can I see my office? No, doctor, wait, 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 doctor. Wait, my wife is pregnant with twins. My wife is pregnant. Let's go, baby. Wait, doctor, my wife is pregnant. Wait, can I see her? Can I see her? Uh, you said you have a report about uh, What is it? Yes. I have serious report about her. Hmm. Serious report. Here the news in brief. In the in the station TV of our ancestors, that is where this report is coming from. Um, oh yeah, madam. As as God has blessed the both of you with children, I, I just want that that little blessing to extend to me. So let's increase this extension of blessing. The extension so that we can use and plug anything we want to plug. Let's extend it to us. Yeah, now. So thereby, my report, my humble report, is that. Ah. <laughs> hey, please stop. I'm a very shy person. Stop. <laughs> As God has blessed Madam Anoga. Let this blessing come to me too. Yeah. 
the magnitude of love I have for you is beyond repair. Mm. That thing cannot divide it. I want you to use that same catapult that I use in shooting love to you. Use that catapult and shoot it to me also. So that our love will deliquate. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I now propose to you, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Will you marry me? Yes. Flashes of the current life we are living in The modern world we are building Fighting so hard to fit in Yeah Keep it in the dark, what really matters Only to cry after If I had known Yeah Build your home Build your home with love and attention. 